haven't been on this trail since the hurricane so honestly I don't even know what to expect hopefully I can make it I know I'm, I know there's big trees that fell uh, Wow I mean this is just the beginning of the trail and I'm already wondering if I'm gonna make it so we'll see what happens um, like I said since the hurricane I ain't been through here and by the looks of things I don't know if I'm gonna make it so let's see what happens uh, Wow Wow that's gonna hit my I don't want to get stuck already Wow I don't know if I'm gonna make it on this trail I mean whatever came through here well we're not gonna make it nope <laughs> Why this pine tree? Why, why, why? I mean, do I care? No, I can't break that right now. But <sighs> so this, this is basically a, I don't know if I can clear this or not. I mean, if this is the beginning of the trail, and they've been finding, uh, there's been bears, in fact, a bear, uh, bear attacked a guy in Naples yesterday. And we know that this is where the bears sleep at at night, so... <sighs> what to do, what to do? Let me take a look here. Maybe it's just the beginning of the trail that's in bad shape. But, I don't see any car footprints back here. Which leads me to think... Even if I do get past this tree, that... There's no f no trail marks. This makes me think nobody's been back here, which probably means I don't know. Maybe I can clear it. Let's give it a try. All right, guys. With much difficulty, I've made it this far. I've driven over a few things that I probably shouldn't have driven over, but I'm somehow this far into the trail. It is just incredible how much wind damage there was in these woods I mean the, the, the storm really kicked it through here and uh, I don't see any car trail marks so I'm thinking nobody's been back here in a long time also thinking that if I do get stuck this time there's so much debris that none of my friends trucks are actually going to be able to come out and save me so if I do get stuck on this trip here, I don't have any friends that are actually willing to put their trucks through this uh, little beating to get back here. So uh, there used to be big trees here. You can't see. You can see that open area there. That open area did not exist. There were some monstrously tall trees there, and they're gone now. It's very different, and I'm surprised I've made it this far. Um, I knew somebody would clear the, tr the, you know, the biggest trees. I knew people would come out with chainsaws and clear the path. But uh, I was more worried about mud. Those mango trees. What type of trees are those? Hold on. Just incredible damage. What type of trees are these? I hadn't seen these. They look like avocados or something. I don't know what they are. I've never seen these trees in the woods. There's a big one here. Huh. I don't know what type of tree it is, but there's a bunch of them. Maybe it's an avocado? I don't know. If you know what type of tree that is, comment. I hadn't seen these trees out here before. Uh, like I said, just incredible how much this place changed after the storm and I just want to make it to my lake so I can fish it's been a while since I come out here and as you can see um, Hurricane Irma really did some damage here on trail I don't know if this isn't this is the easiest part of the trail and it's become difficult so uh, it's possible that further ahead there are uh, sections of the trail that are impassable so we'll see how far we can get to this trail uh, 
hopefully, I mean, unless there's one massive tree that fell, then I can totally see, like, somebody not sitting there with a chainsaw for two hours. Let's see if we can make it. And, uh, bear encounters have just been incredibly common lately. Alright, so this is the end of the trail. There's a bunch of Maliuka trees here, and they all fell, so there's no getting through there. I gotta figure out how I can back out and get back on the on the trail we came from. Oh, well, that's the old trail right there. Big pine tree fell. But they clear a new trail, so... Let's see if I can make the turn into the new trail because the old trail's covered. Gone. This is a new trail here that somebody built. Man, it's been a while since I catch a bass. You know this feeling when you haven't caught a bass in a long time and you finally get one? That's where I'm at right now. This is an okay sized bass. It's not tiny. It's a little... I didn't even take off my saltwater gear. It's not even the right type of hook. I just put a... Come on out, baby. I just put a, a worm, an orange colored worm, on a... Not bad at all. It's been a while since I catch anything. I just put a little warm. Oh, he thinks he's going for a swim now. I just put a warm on a little saltwater setup I had for for a sheep's head, and uh, he hit it. He was right between the grasses over there, so that's a sign of hope right there. It's been a while since I catch anything, so that's great. We're back on the lake. Let's let this guy go. Oh, not bad. There's hope still. I can't believe I actually made it out here, guys. I mean, it's been so long since before the hurricane I hadn't been out here. All the big pine trees fell, so it was very difficult to get back on the lake, but we're here. Now I'm going to set up my lure. My lure is the right way. I was just so excited that I didn't even change my saltwater setup. I just threw whatever I had on there. Cool. Bass number two. And uh, today I'm going for a color like this. I know, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm happy. Okay. So I'm going for, like, uh, colors that are natural. And what I've noticed today is that they're, they're hitting on movement. You know, twitching, big twitching, splashes, noise. That's how they're hunting today, so... I'm going to capitalize on that and see if we can get some bigger ones. Bass number two. He's already swimming. Right on the edge. Come on. Get out there, boy. Get out there. Cool. Bass number two, not bad. Okay, this is the type of stuff that uh, is on the road. I don't know if other people have been driving over it or not. But it's kind of scary. This is what uh, what these trails have been like since the hurricane. I think somebody has already driven over it, so I'm going to give it a try. It's pretty stupid, really, but if I get a flat tire out here, there's no knowing how I'm going to get back. But just to show you guys how bad these trails have gotten since the hurricane. That's all I can see is that these trails are like unrecognizable since the hurricane look at this tree root system it's like bigger than my truck I don't know if it's even a point to try to keep going on these trails at this point this is what these trails have looked like and I've made past a lot of it but eventually Eventually, this is what you come to. Wow. That. I mean, this is like... I don't even know where I'm at, man. And these are trails that I've known since I was a little kid. Wow. It's a beautiful lake, man. A lot of effort to get here. But I don't know if... Uh, it's even worth the effort. So basically, if you know where I'm at, 
This is the spot everybody calls the dunes. This is what everybody in Naples calls the dunes. Um, I made it with two wheel drive. The trails are all different and as you can see they're very uh, damaged from the hurricane. So I'm just going to turn around and I drove over some stuff on the way in here that I can't even believe I actually drove over. And then I cry when I have stupid repair bills. But this is what they call the dunes. And it's just unrecognizable since the hurricane. There's um, bears out here, coyotes, bears, a lot of deer, an owl apparently, a lot of nature, big gators, a lot of snakes. This is uh, one of my favorite spots right here. There are already two trees that were down here from maybe Charlie or some other storm. These two trunks have been here for years and years. But there's new trunks in the way. I fell over this way. And then there's the fact that a big pine tree. Oh, it's still. I could still cast in there. What do you guys think? I could still cast once or twice. I might get tangled, but it's worth a try, right? Wow, this place has changed since the storm. Beautiful place, though. I'm gonna get back on the other lake. But yeah, as you can see, nothing's the same since the hurricane. Wow. Just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I used to have one of these next to my house. Good thing I got rid of it before the storm. Australian pines are like the worst thing you could ever have. Okay, this is the the lake closest to the dunes. See if we can get some bass fishing in here. Just gotta be careful with the snakes and the gators and whatnot. Bro, this spot's like un unrecognizable after the hurricane. It's a domestic duck. Yo, bass number three. This is one of my favorite spots on this lake. There's a big tree that's submerged in the water. And if you cast around it, you do pretty good. So that's my first cast into that spot today. Uh, yeah, it's deep there. There's no way I'm going to stick my hand in that water. Let's keep fishing that bank over there. I'm the only person out here and that feels good it's in season time here in Florida whenever where you go there's a thousand people traffic and cars you just want to escape from it all how do you know if you're crazy this pretty much right here 
This is how you know if you're crazy. This is how you know if you're crazy. There's no wondering if you're crazy at some point in your life. You just know you're crazy and you can figure out maybe there's something wrong with me. This, this makes me mad right here. See this right here? Like seriously bro? Is that right there? That makes me mad. Because it costs $20 to get rid of that here in Collar County. Well, not in Corley County, Lake County, because Corley County might be like 40 or 50, but you take it up to Lake County, and it's like $20 to get rid of that. Yeah. <clears throat> Just some people, man. There's that one tree that I remember when I came into the trail, there's that one tree that was just leaning over the trail. And I somehow managed to clear it. And I pushed underneath. There it is. How on earth am I going to get past this tree now? Because on the way in, I was able to clear it. I was able to clear it on the way in. But now... Freaking crazy, bro. I cleared it again. Oh snap, man. Ah, yeah. Okay. No, I can't let you guys know where the trail comes in through. This is top secret right here. I don't. Well, I got a problem. Bad, bad problem. Right here. Yeah, that's a sidewall. And it's the sidewall. So this tire, there's no fixing it. You know, all day, all day, and then now out here, <sighs> sucks, man. So, might as well get to work. Might as well get to work. Just a moment in my life. A moment in my life. At this point, the mosquitoes are unbearable. I got dad coming. I got dad coming to help. At this point, the mosquitoes are just unbearable, so I put on my sweater. The Jeep Jack is not going as high as I need it to go, so I'm just struggling right now. And obviously, the worst part right now is just how bad the mosquitoes are. Very uncomfortable situation. For $40 off per axle, plus, we have premium ceramic pads available. So ask for details on this and other service specials when we return to...
road. Every time you come in here, you're tearing up the road. And everyone's got a fence. Tearing up the road. Yep, one's got a fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. What would I do without the old man? I don't miss that old man when I ain't got him, I'm telling you. If you watch my videos, I'm sure it's not the first time I've said this. If the day I don't have that old man, I'm going to miss him. He's the only person I can call when I'm stuck like this, and, and he'll come out and help me. No matter what. No matter what it is, my old man. I miss him. I ain't got him. I don't miss him. Let's get out of here. So, this is not the first time that I have consequences and repercussions for being a damn idiot. Let's just be clear about that. This is like a long cycle of me coming out here or some other stupid place and getting a flat tire getting stuck in the mud at least I had the, the, the Jeep Jack that I bought and I had the, the tool to change out the tire I mean so I am getting more responsible needless to say at some point when I drove over those trees uh, that was probably what caused my um, $200 by the way and I left my card so I gotta pay back dad his money tomorrow in the morning go to the bank and give him his money because I, I left my forgot my phone forgot my card everything it was just you know heat of the moment but anyways um I haven't done too many videos since the hurricane uh it's been kind of slow and uh it's been a lot of work a lot of work since the hurricane and I'm glad today I was able to get out here and break a tire and spend $200 um, on stupidity. But hey, if you're subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, I don't think this will be the last time something like this will happen to me. Because if you're subscribed to my channel, I'm always um, doing stupid stuff, basically. So if you like to watch stupid people do stupid stuff, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel.